Hello and welcome to another Lexmoto ride out. Today I'm delighted to bring you the new Lexmoto Aura 125cc, Lexmoto's newest 125 scooter. We'll start off having a look around the bike. At the front we've got some fantastic LED headlights with some uh, DRL lights on there. Moving around, we'll look at that 13 inch front wheel. Moving around, it's got a nice large body presence to it. Uh, it's size wise in the lineup, it, it's bigger than a Titan, it's not quite as big as a Chieftain. Um, but the main thing about this bike is just exceptional quality. Moving around to the back, we've got a, another 13 inch wheel with a rear disc brake on there. There's nice little details, you've got the uh, pillion foot peg tucked in, this nice domed sticker, little Lexmoto on the tag there. Should make our way round. Twin shocks on this one, do an ample job of uh, smoothing out the ride. And all in all, it's just a stunning scooter to look at. We absolutely love this colour. This colour we've uh, previously used on the Lexmoto Tempest GT, and uh, we were keen to reuse it on this one. In fact, actually, I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to go and show you the uh, seat first. So, under the seat, pops up off the front, got a nice large section. It's unfortunately not quite large enough uh, for a full face helmet, uh, but still a nice little storage space. You've got the tools in under there. Uh, battery lives underneath that one. Just pops down. And the fuel, just press that to the side, and that pops your fuel. Now, it's got a lot of nice little touches with this one. Uh, if you spin that round, you can open that up and get your fuel in there. You'll notice it's got a little uh, red section on there to warn you that it's not fully closed. And as you spin that round, it turns to green. Green for go, excellent. Now, I'll start off with one of the nice little features on this bike. It's the ignition. So, with this bike we have a keyless ignition. And the, the bike, you can basically control it via this uh, fob. Now, the fob on it has a 1.5 meter range. And you've got a couple different functions. The first function, if you press that top one, just flashes your indicators, uh, I think, five times and then turns off. If you press that middle button, this section turns green and you can go between the various different modes. First one is on, which will uh, turn your ignition on. The second one is seat and fuel. Now whilst it's in that position, you can press the seat or the fuel and it will open each compartment. Uh, next section down is uh, off. <laughs> and um, if you turn the steering lock to the side, and this would lock the steering for you. So the additional feature that we've got on the bottom there is the lock function. Uh, pressing that just means that the, it, the the bike isn't looking for the key to try and start the ignition. So uh, just a bit more security there. So what other functionality? We've got a nice little cubby hole down here to the left hand side. There is also a little USB charging point under there. So you'll be able to plug in some different devices there, either charge up your mobile phone or maybe look to have a, uh, a sat-nav type device uh, plugged in. Lots of different options. Let's unlock it and move to the uh, on mode and we can see the nice clear display. So on the display we have your uh, speed on the left hand side, your revs on the right hand side. You've also got a couple different lights there to show you whether your dip lights are on or off, your indicators are on or off down this side. You display as your fuel, fuel gauge on the digital section on the left, your battery level on the right, uh, temperature, time, your trip, your odometer, and the speed making up the main one in the middle there. So lots of different information. Now, once the bike is in this position, I don't really need this. This can go in my pocket. Then, all I need to do, press a brake, press the switch, and it fires to life. And we're ready to go. Uh, controls that we've got on the left-hand side, we've got the horn, we've got the indicators, and your low beam, high beam with a little pass function when you press down on the low beam. On the right hand side we've got the starter, we've got the kill switch and we've got hazard lights as well. So lots of uh, pretty standard controls there, nothing uh, too daunting to start us off. Now let's go have a ride shall we? Right and off we go. 
Now the nice thing with this sort of size scooter is it's got a pretty decent road presence. So if you're new to riding or you're going to be riding in a city, you really want to make sure that you've, you're on something that can be seen, something that's a bit sizeable. And that's where this size of scooter comes in handy. It's quite similar in proportions to the Honda PCX and the Yamaha NMAX. Um, and it's, uh, it's a very popular size. And as we open this one up, we're getting up to sort of 50 mile an hour plus. Now, this motor is a familiar motor to us. It's a variant of the Lexmoto Diablo motor, one that we've been using in the Lexmoto lineup for a number of years. Now, I'll give you a bit of background to this factory. Uh, this scooter is made by a factory called Longia. And Longia have been a very, very strong factory for us. Uh, they are the factory behind bikes like the Echo, which is the UK's top-selling 50cc bike of any brand. They are producing the Tempest and the Tempest GT for us, obviously. They're producing the Vendetta 250, uh, the Diablo, the Nano. They are a scooter factory and a motorbike factory that we really enjoy working with. And uh, to give you a little bit of backstory to this one, I first came across this scooter back in 2018. Uh, myself and my colleague Rob, we were visiting the factory and uh, they, they showed us this uh, mock-up as a bike and uh, we had to sit on it, had a look at the proportions and uh, definitely gave our blessing and our recommendation that it's something that we wanted to work with for the future. And we are blown away with the results. It's really a step forward for us as a brand and we're excited to have it as part of the Lexmoto lineup. If you guys are new to Lexmoto, I'll give you a little bit of background to the brand. We are currently the UK's second biggest selling learner legal brand behind only Honda. In 2019, we actually moved ahead of Yamaha. We are the undisputed champions when it comes to 50cc. And uh, in the 125cc category, we are behind only Honda ahead of Yamaha, which is fantastic. We're thrilled at that achievement. And we've got to that position by offering great price bikes and supporting them with a UK dealer network, parts availability. We want to provide good value bikes to people that not only are great and easy to get onto, but you can uh, have a good support network behind you as well. One of the other benefits between this sort of style of scooter is that screen as well just deflects a bit of that wind away from you. Now the Aura comes in two colour schemes. The red that we've got here is uh, a stunning metallic sort of candy red. Uh, we also have a very modern and sleek flat grey option. Now, the factory describe it as uh, an Audi grey. We'll let you make your minds up on how similar you think it is. But the two colour options, really happy with both of them. They provide two quite distinctive looks to the bike. And uh, we're, we're excited to see what they do. If you've got a favourite, let us know down in the comments below. Or maybe even a colour suggestion. We were uh, having a chat today in the office about, you know, ooh, when we, uh, in the future, which colour options could we consider for this model? We are a UK based company that deals with Chinese motorbikes but we'd like to make sure that we are hitting the mark when it comes to the UK consumer demands. So we always make sure that we're uh, adding fancy names and nice colour schemes that you guys enjoy and just making sure we're dealing with a quality of bike that you guys are going to want. We're quite lucky at Lexmoto, we're not, uh, we're independent. We don't have to have bikes from different factories and uh, myself and the sales team, we, uh, we've got pretty much free reign to pick which bikes we want and we don't like letting people down either. So uh, we tend to find if, it, if it's a bike that's not cutting the mustard, we can walk away from it. Something that even the big boys at Honda and Yamaha don't have that much flexibility on. Sort of a, have a situation if Honda Japan tells you you've got to sell this bike, well then guess what sucker, you're getting it. So that's nice, what else do you get with Lexmo? Well, 
being a 125cc bike, this bike comes with a two-year parts of the label warranty. That warranty can be redeemed at any Lexmoto dealership across the UK. Gives you a bit of flexibility there. If you are having a look at this bike and you want to get a bit more of a look on it, then uh, we'd advise you checking out your local dealer. Whilst we can support you across the network, ultimately our goal is for you to be supported by a local dealer to have that relationship and that level of support for not only when you purchase the bike but uh, with your future servicing and maintenance needs as well if you want to see whether your dealer's got the bike in stock if you head over to the Lexmoto Aura uh, website page Check in your postcode on there and it will show you what your local dealer availability is like. If your local dealer hasn't got one, still get in touch with them, let them know and they may well be able to pop a pre-order down for you. They are very good like that. Size wise on this bike, this isn't the biggest bike in our lineup. Obviously the Chieftain is that little bit larger. I'm just over six foot and find it pretty comfortable. However, I'd probably say that my seating position is a little bit forward. As with anything comfort wise, it's always best you check with your local dealer, have a sit on the bike and check it's right for you. The last thing I want is for you to place an order, get the bike and it not be something that you're comfortable with. And that's not just your riding comfort, but obviously how tall it's going to be, whether you're comfortable popping your foot down on the side when you're moving off. Transmission wise, this is a twist and go bike. So just simply as soon as the motor's running, twist that throttle and it'll pick up to its speed. Top speed on this one is about 55 mile an hour or so. All in all, it's a scooter that I'm delighted to have in the lineup and, and proud to have it leading as uh, our flagship scooter in the range. So, I hope you've enjoyed coming out with me today. I've certainly enjoyed having you along with me. I hope you found it interesting and it's answered some of your questions. If there is anything that you wanted to ask, feel free to pop your comments down below and we'll do our best to get back to you. I'd also recommend that you stay up to date with our Facebook and Instagram pages. Lots of really interesting stuff on there. And uh, of course, make sure you're subscribing to this channel to make sure you're up to date with the latest and greatest from Lexmoto. I look forward to seeing you in a video again soon. Until then, goodbye. Cue some jazzy outro music.